Hello, I'm Jessica. Today we are going to be training my two favorite body parts, legs and abs. This is a standing workout, but the setup is fairly easy. All you need for today's workout is a chair to provide you some support as we will also be working on a little bit of balance and stability training. I am including my booty band here today for some of our exercises towards the end of this workout just to help increase that muscle building and toning. All right, go ahead, get set up, make sure that you are subscribed and we'll get started right now. Great job, let's get on into the warm up and then we'll get into some of the exercises. Just turn and face your chair here and tap those legs up either at the base of the chair, on a chair leg, possibly even the seat. Very good, flexing the toes up, warming up through the hips. Amazing job. And then we'll take this and tap it back, really squeezing the backs of those legs, stretching through the front of the ankle here. Just a nice, easy warm up today. Good stretching through all of this lower body. Make sure you're holding those core muscles in. Nice and solid here, shoulders out of the ears. And we're gonna take the same step back, except we'll come to a flat foot and bring it forward. Good, send body weight into that back leg to stretch through the calf and the ankle really gently here. You're just warming up. The body will start moving easier as we get into this workout. So no need to be really aggressive through the warm up just yet. Go ahead, step that left foot back one more time and then the right. Push it all the way back as you lean body weight forward towards the chair. And then up to the ball of the foot, stretch it back. Holding those core muscles in, staying nice and tall through the spine. Wonderful job here. Step that foot up to the chair. We're gonna get the ankle under the knee and just work that knee forward towards the toes a little bit and back increasing our range of motion in the ankles here today. Let's take one more on this leg, set it to back and take the left leg back, same thing. Flatten that foot back and down, ease the body weight forward as much as you need to feel a light stretch in the back of the left heel and lower leg. Toes are pointed at 12 o'clock. Great job here. Up to the toes, ease it back down into the heel. Nice, soft press, stretching gently through the lower leg and the back of the ankle. Again, holding abs in, shoulders out of the ears, breathing nice and smooth. Let's take one more here and then step that foot up to the chair. You can ease yourself back a little bit if you ended up too close. Left knee over the ankle and just press it forward, keeping your foot flat on the chair, making sure that you're not putting a ton of body weight into the seat of the chair. Right leg is helping support some of our weight as well. Great job, let's take one more here and then bring it back, hold it to the center. We're gonna warm up the core a little bit. Hands right here at the chest and we're just gonna pause in the middle and swing it over to the side. Make sure you stop in the middle so you're not building up momentum through the core and swing a little bit too far in the low back. So whatever your natural range of motion is, don't go any further past that. One more here to the left and then reach the right arm up, stretch those hips over to the right side. Bend it side to side here, alternating, keeping the rib cage up and open so we're not turning 
towards the floor. You can do this behind your chair if you feel more comfortable with some extra support there. Great job. We have some great cool down stretches after this workout too. So you wanna make sure that you are ready for those. Cross those arms, roll those shoulders, work those hips, any last minute adjustments. We're gonna go ahead here, get on into our first exercise. We're gonna be working with the right side of the body on the right side of the chair. So right arm comes up, right leg comes up. I'm gonna to turn to the side just so you can see what I've got going on. Arm is gonna reach up. We're gonna take the heel towards the hamstring here, no further than what feels natural in your body. Good, you have your chair here for balance if you need it. Very good, we're only gonna do these exercises one time on each side. So we're gonna give them a good Good amount of practice here. Good amount of reps. Let's take one more. Great job. Open that right arm up again to the side. The hand is going to reach down towards the hip as you bring the right leg up. So here they kind of meet together in the middle. You should feel those core muscles working. The left leg has a nice soft bend in the leg. Pull those core muscles up and in. You notice I'm not bending side to side, I'm just bringing the hand and the leg together. Imagine yourself lifting with the heel of this foot, not the toes. So we don't wanna point the toes, we wanna get this nice outer booty area here working. Get it nice and strong, nice and toned. Slow and steady here. I'm sure you are noticing the balance element in that left leg. You have your chair here for support if you need it. If you need to modify, your movement does not have to be as big as mine. Great job here. Hold it and release. Go ahead, give that left leg a little bit of a wiggle. It's working there too. We're gonna take this right leg forward. This time, we're gonna point those toes working on the fronts of the thighs, these big quad muscles here. Draw a nice circle. I'm going counterclockwise. Either way, you're just gonna reverse it on the next round. Great job, hold those core muscles here. Amazing, let's go the other way. You've got this, that left leg. So working really hard here. Keep those circles low so that you're not overly stressing out. The hip flexors, point the toes, pull the kneecap up so you're engaging these nice thigh muscles here. And set that down, give that left leg a little wiggle if it needs it. We're all going to turn towards our chair. Left hand is gonna come to the back of the chair. You're gonna set that left foot right here, step that right foot back. Arm can reach forward or overhead. Pull the knee up and in. Step it back slightly. I'm keeping a soft bend in my left knee. Great job here. Don't rush through these. Give yourself the chance here to really contract and pull those abs up and in. As the elbow and the knee come together, they do not have to touch. You'll feel the work through the core muscles whether they touch or not. So don't force anything that doesn't feel right in your body. Very good. Left leg. It's got its work cut out for it on this side. We'll go ahead and switch it over and take all of these exercises one more time on that left side and the right leg will get a turn. Let's take three more here. You're doing wonderful. Really stretch, open this body even if you're stretching forward. Last one here, set it on down. Left leg shake if it needs it. Beautiful job, we are going to go ahead here, draw 
this right leg up. So it's just gonna slide up, not pushing on the left leg. Once you hit just below the knee, open it down, side crunch. Send it back in and down. I'll get that later. Here we go. Up, open, crunch, and down. Good. We're not pulling on the neck. We're not pulling anywhere on the back of the head. Good, you'll feel this work. You have a nice little hip stretch here, leaning the body towards it. These are tough. We will not take as many of them. You have just a few more. Hang in here. Great job. Let's take this last one here. Open and back. Great job. Now we're going to send this right leg. You're gonna step it back. How far back and how low you go is totally up to you. You're gonna drive that knee forward, crunch, and repeat. Step back, crunch, and straighten. Step back, crunch, and lower. Very good, keep working here. Whatever feels good in your body. If you would like a little bit more work, you can come more to a lunge and back. Step it back lunge and straighten wherever you are working take your time here make sure everything feels good in the body you'll feel those legs and the abs working together here few more breathing exhale on that crunch it will make it a little bit easier no rush through any of these exercises today. Great job. If you have a band and you would like to use it for the last three exercises on this side of the chair, you go ahead, step into it. You can always be seated and work yourself into the band. Quick little break here too. It can be below the knees or above the knees. I just wanna make sure that you are not on the kneecap, pulling on that joint. You wanna be on a softer area. Below the knees is going to be a little bit more difficult because it will have to stretch further. So start above the knees, and if it's not enough work, you can move it on down. We're gonna go ahead and take leg lifts here to the back, raising the right leg straight back, but I want you to take it not just back, but out a little bit to the side as well. So straight back, straight back out to the side, soft bend in that left leg. So if you think about a box, you're gonna kind of tap the back corner if you're standing right in the center. Great job here. You can of course do this without the band. You have your chair. If you need a little bit of help with the balance, I would rather you get lots of great leg work and core work today and we'll work on the balance in time. So don't struggle so much with the balance here today. Just, just enough that it's challenging and that'll come in time. Great job here. One more. And beautiful. We're gonna go ahead here, soften it down in those legs. You're just going to step the right leg out and in. Try not to put body weight into it, just tap the leg out and in. You're gonna feel both of those legs working here. If you need more work, you can work that band a little bit lower. You can use a heavier band as well. You're going to feel both of those legs working here. They are both working, one is working on this abduction movement and one is working on stabilization. You see I have my hips bent down and back a little bit soft, bend in my knee. You have one more exercise on this side and then we switch it over to the left side. So you are just about halfway there. Stay nice and strong, stay solid 
In this left leg, no movement. Right leg out, right leg back. Let's take one more here, bring it in. Whew, great job. Go ahead, take this band down below the knees. For this one, we will take this in a seated position. Band below the knees, and we're gonna tuck this left leg back behind us and then just extend that right leg. So I'm pushing against the band and I'm lifting my foot up off of the floor, feeling these muscles work here. I'm not letting my knee cave in. If it's too much, decrease your band or take it off. Good, keep that knee out. Work that foot up, feel these muscles. Get nice and strong, really important to keep them in good working order so those knee joints are nice and stable. Wonderful job here. Quick little rest for that left leg here as well. Beautiful. We're in the chair. So this is a great place here to step those feet in, slide that band off, and go ahead, set it to the back of the chair, under the chair, or the seat, and we'll use it here on this left side in just a little bit. All right, starting here on the left side. <laughs> Let's go ahead here. We're going to bring the left arm up, heel, to the booty, bring it back down. So I'll give you guys that sideways view again. And a lower. I'm not leaning my body forward or back. I'm giving this muscle back here a nice squeeze as I draw that heel up. You don't even need a bunch of weight here. You just really need to engage with that muscle. Take your time keeping it nice and slow so that you really find that moment where you feel the work, you feel that muscle engage and hold it for just a couple seconds. It's amazing what a difference it makes when you slow down. Faster does not always mean more intense or harder. Great job here. You are over halfway there in this whole workout. All the exercises are familiar. This round will go a little bit easier for you. Chair is here. If you need the balance help, you're holding those abs up and in. Don't forget that part. Let them stabilize you. We're using the transverse abdominus here, those deep stabilizing muscles. They don't have a joint action, so the only way to work them is through stability work. Great job here. Drop it on down. Left leg lifts out to the side. Imagine lifting with the heel as you reach that hand down, engaging through those obliques. Very good. No tipping over on either side. It's the right legs. Turn to work. You're gonna feel work in there. Soft bend in the knee. Don't lock it out. Leg doesn't have to come real high and arm doesn't have to reach really far. If you're getting tired, that's all right. You take a modification. If this side isn't as strong as the other side, you don't have to do as many. You can modify, you can make a smaller movement. You can take a few of them out, but see if you can hold it a little bit longer or slow it down so that that strength can still build up to catch up to your stronger side. Great job. Let's take a few more here. I know these ones are a nice big movement. A lot of concentration, a lot of work here. Hold those abs up and in. Drop that on down, give that right leg. a Little bit of shake if it needs it. Left toes come forward, point them and I'm gonna take clockwise circles here. It's okay, whichever direction you're going, just remember to switch it halfway through. I'll remind you, pull that kneecap up, point those toes, keep the leg low. We don't want it really high here and start stressing out that hip flexor. 
You just want work in this upper front thigh here. Good, reverse that circle. Go the opposite direction. Smaller circles, slower circles are all okay, whatever works for you. Make sure that you are not bending and twisting through the hips or your standing leg. Nice and straight on this side. Core. Hold up and in. Drop it on down. We're going to face our chair. Right hand comes to the back of the chair. Right foot steps in. Left arm reaches to the front or overhead. Open up this body, but don't arch through that low back. Keep those hips tucked forward. Keep that rib cage closed a little bit. Drive that knee up and in. Draw that elbow down, really encouraging a lot of contraction through those core muscles. Keep it slow so that you are not in and out of that work real quick. I want you to stay here for just a second. Let this strength develop. Knee and elbow do not have to touch. Don't compromise your low back or your neck trying to get there. The flexibility will come in time just like the balance. Wonderful job. Keep going here. These add up quick. Breathe. Watch your form. Three more. Last one here. Open it back up. Step it back forward. Give that right leg a little bit of a shake. We're gonna go ahead, slide that left leg up. Open the hip. Take that side crunch. Your chair is here. This is a challenging movement because there are a lot of components to it. Here we go. Take your time. Left leg slides up right below the knee. Open the hip. Side crunch. Back in and release. Good. Arm can stay here. If you would like, start fresh each time on that leg. A little bit of hip work in there. Try to keep body weight in that left leg. Working here. Your chair's here for balance. Help if you need it. Breathe. Open. Crunch and release. This is one of those exercises you can definitely take seated if it's just a little too intense standing. We only have a few more. Great job, don't rush through this last one. Wonderful job. All right, here we go. We're gonna step the left leg back and then crunch it up and in. Now, how far back and how low you come down, again, is totally up to you. You can bring this into more of a lunge and bring it up, or you can simply tap back, squeezing those back muscles and crunching. Either way, it should feel like work, but it should feel good in your body. Let's take those here together. Great job. Nice fluid movements through the shoulders. Good. As you step forward and you crunch it together, neck, shoulders, follow with the spine. So if you lean forward and crunch down a little bit, let the neck and those shoulders go with you. No rush here, plenty of time. Plenty of work. Wonderful job here. Let's take one more. 
Very good. And just like before, you have the option to put the band on. If you're not working with the band, you have the option for a nice little break. Good. Above or below the knees, not on the knees. Go ahead here, left leg up and back. So remember, not just straight back, back and out. So really using both of those big booty muscles to work here. Hips stay towards the ground. We're not opening out and especially not twisting through that right knee. Very good. Smaller movement, lighter band or no band or skip it completely are all great modifications here. And you're gonna feel both, both sides here working. Hold those core muscles up and in. This is also a core exercise. Great job here. Tighten up, keep your good form. Especially when you get tired, it's really easy to start getting a little out of our textbook proper form. I'm, I feel like I'm leaning really far over. If you are too, just refocus, come back to it, slow it down, see if you can get just a few more, keeping that good form. And then bring it back in. Almost there. Two more exercises. Hips bend back. So take those hips back behind you. Lower yourself on down and make sure you're tucking the pelvis forward. Tap that left foot out. Right foot stays here in place. Body stayed centered up. So we're not stepping out, just tapping in and out. Smaller movement, lighter band, no band at all. All good options if this just gets a little too intense. Great job. Engage through those core muscles, pull them up, pull them in, squeeze them. Ears out of the shoulders. You can see I'm kind of looking down at the floor since I'm leaning forward a little bit. I'm keeping my neck and face in alignment with my spine. <sighs> Wonderful job here. Let's take a few more. And stand it on up. Have a seat in your chair. We'll work that band down just below the knees. We'll tuck this right leg back. Step this left leg out. Make sure that you can keep that knee over the ankle. Extend it out. Good. Make sure you're clear of that kneecap. Extend it out and release it back in. Slow on the way up and out, squeezing this muscle, pulling the kneecap up. Slow on the way back. Don't let that band move you. You stay in control of how fast you are moving. Great job. So we're extending, pulling against the band and releasing slow, resisting against the pull of that band. So we're kind of decelerating here. Nice, good strength in both directions. Few more of these. Great job, bring it in. Step that right foot back to the front. Take that band off underneath the chair to the back of the chair, somewhere out of the way. Go ahead here, nice and easy. Take those hips to the back of your chair, roll it forward, shimmy those shoulders side to side. Check in with the low back. Hands to the tops of the thighs. Inhale, stretch the shoulders back. Seated cat and cow here. Exhale, 
inhale push yourself up towards the back of the chair inhale forward flat back no arching through the low back exhale round through that upper back inhale and exhale step those legs out off to the right side of the chair your left foot will come up to the seat the placement and the rotation of these feet is totally up to you whatever feels good comfortable and safe in your body we're just going to ease ourselves down the only thing i want to caution you of is not to let that knee fall really far forward keep it out over the ankle you can support yourself here on the thigh fingertips to the back of the chair or you can come into a full fold if that feels good for you nice good hip stretch here bring yourself back up step that left foot back to the center of the chair work that right foot back in cross this left leg over nice reach from the front and guide this leg in towards the right shoulder and just a nice gentle twist here to the left if it feels good you can find a little bit of movement for this left side this is right in the area that we worked through our band exercises be gentle here you notice I'm not pulling directly on my knee I am above and below it leg bones are a little bit stronger and tolerate this a whole lot better than the knee joint great job step that left leg out to the left side right leg comes out as well up to the chair again take a second here find good placement in your lower body knee stays above the ankle ease it on down this is a great low back and hip release but it definitely may not be for everyone so something feels awkward uncomfortable to go ahead and skip it maybe come back to our seated forward fold Great job, go ahead, bring yourself back up. Step the right leg to the front, have a seat. All right leg crosses over the left. Nice big hug here, grabbing wherever it feels comfortable. If you can get to a full bind, that works. Knee pulling towards the left shoulder, sit up nice and tall, and the body just turns slightly to the right movement sway a little bit here if it feels good for you keep the movement small really pay attention to where you are at in your chair good relax that on down and we're gonna step off to this right side one more time we're going to face the chair and we're going to let those palms hit the back of the chair and give those knees a nice bend forward here and gently round yourself forward releasing that low back good straighten the upper body straighten the legs if it's not too intense you can keep a bend in them if you need to ease off of it a little bit bend the knees lower forward straighten up straighten those legs one more time here bend those knees bend forward and straighten up very good job bring it on up from here take a nice good deep breath in and then just let the whole body relax you are all done for today that was a great workout and i really appreciate you guys joining me for it let me know how it went in the comments 
make sure that you are subscribed so that you do not miss our next workout until I see you guys again. Take good care of yourselves. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.